Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So we're going to have a look at part two of my Rimmel collection, um, which starts here. So we've looked at the um, Rimmel Salon Pro and the glitter toppers, and we're now going to have a look at the cream formulas that I've got. Um, on my nails is Essie Vibrant Vibes. Love this shop. I absolutely love this shade. The formula was terrible, really watery and chalky and took like three coats to be opaque. But um, I lo just love this colour. You could, It's not impossible to work with. Uh, okay, the first three that I want to look at are, um, they're all quite similar pastel shades. Um, so the the ones that say 60 second super shine, they do dry quick, but not in 60 seconds, um, just so you know. Uh, yeah, and that one's a Rita Aurora again, 60 seconds. These have all got a similar finish. So they've got this slight s silver swirly shimmer that runs through them in the bottle unfortunately you can't see this on the, the shimmer on the nail at all but regardless of that it does give these polishes a really nice finish um, and I'm always impressed with these especially this blue it's one of my favorites so the pink is lose your lingerie the blue is pillow talk and the minty greeny blue is breakfast in bed and that's the three of them there i usually break out at least one of them i sort of spray it around springtime now this next one here is such a strange polish it's this sweetheart matte polish that i, and I just picked it up because it was I like the Sweetheart Sweets um, and also I wanted to see is it really going to be that sort of chalky matte finish um, yeah so this is Cheeky Chap and it's the mattest matte polish that I've got and it does look like it's really really chalky but it's smooth and it's just the the texture to the eye doesn't match what it feels like um, and I actually really like it and I like this finish um, I don't think I would bother top coating this because it is such a, a kind of dry matte look to it um, but yeah I have worn this a couple of times uh, but I might this was a surprise one that I'd forgotten about so I might keep this to one side and wear it again soon um so that's has anybody got any of these did you get any different colors what did you think of the 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 finish and the formula but yeah i quite like that one the next one is uh, this these are all two coats by the way um and this wasn't the best formula as you can see um and this is this lavender purple shade and it's called Marshmallow Heaven. Marshmallow Heaven. Yeah, so I'd probably need to put another coat on that to to get that. And this, although I like purple, this there's a particular shade of of purple, and it's more the lavender side of purple rather than the lilac-y, bluey side of of purple. Um, and I never think that this really suits my skin tone. No, maybe that not that one's not so bad. Um, there was a couple of Essies actually that were similar to shade to this that I actually gave away because they just didn't suit my skin tone. One was warm and toasty turtleneck, um, and another was play date. Play date? Yeah, play date. Which um, I coveted for ages, and then I wore it and thought, oh, it just looks the colour looks awful on me. But anyway, that that type of purple. Um, this next one here, and it, it makes me laugh when I go through some of these, like this one particularly. Um, this is uh, Rita Aurora, Don't Be Shy. And I used to have this weird system where I used a chalk pen to identify how many coats, like some weird coding system. <laughs> Just move that out of the way. 
and it's just a straightforward hot pink um i think i've made i might have worn it once if that um and again just these impulse purchases in the early days that just make now make me go why did i pick that up this was a shade this is uh i know it's called wedge of lime yeah wedge of lime and it's this um what do they call this type of green it's a chartreuse green um which i wasn't so sure about when i first got it hence i haven't used much of it and then i got another one in a nail box when i used to get the nail box which i then sent on to annika and i saw her pictures on instagram where she was using this um in some nail art and i thought actually i do quite like that color so i have broken it out recently a couple of times um and yeah, I do actually quite like this green. I like all the like the the more weird green type of colours, bright and poopy, ugly pretty type of greens. I love them. This next one here is a uh, mid tone blue, well cobalt blue, and this is Danny Boy blue. I wouldn't bother with this one. Not the greatest formula, similar to the marshmallow one. Um, the next one here is um, berries and cream. I think some, some. I think this was gifted to me. Somebody picked this up for me. Um, and yeah, it's nice and opaque again. That sort of oxblood deep red. Um, the next one is one that I picked up recently from the Urban Beauty shop that I was disappointed I couldn't get more swatch wheels from hide and seek and it's not again that's two coats but it's not the greatest formula it's going to need three but i like this it's got like a bluish gray tint to it it's a khaki it's a dark khaki gray green but i, I like the color but the formula is not great and the last two actually are on this swatch wheel here. So these are the, the reds. This is a, a, a bright orangey red. And this is um, another Rita Ora Rimmel. And that's Glastonbury. So the I think there's a few polishes that she came out with that had that kind of festival type of uh, theme to it and names. Um, and that's, so uh, yeah, Glastonbury. Nice, so it's a slightly coral, corally red colour, I would say. And this one here is a true, true, uh, it's not a tomato red, it's not, it's a, it is a double decker bus red, and it is, yeah, double decker red. So it's the, it's a bright, not orangey, it's maybe slightly blue toned, but it's, uh, it's a red red, if you know what that means, a red red. Okay, so that's my Rimmel collection. Um, I don't rush to pick up Rimmels unless there's something really special or, um, you know, a collection that's talked about or something that's slightly unusual like these ones. Um, and But like I said, there's been a few polishes here that I've looked at like this that I might be breaking out before the end of the summer just to try those again. Um, really like these three and yeah that's that's pretty much it really okay let me know what rimmels you have and um, what favorites you've got um it's an affordable high street brand um you know if you if you're into collecting nail polish you're bound to have a few rimmels and, and revlons um okay that's it for me for today thanks for watching bye